So I'm back from my trip to Alaska and boy was it freezing. But I got to see so many beautiful mountains, hills and animals. But that reminds me, I couldn't help notice something strange. I saw this huge white wolf-like animal there and I'd never seen an animal like that. So I asked someone what animal it was and they told me it was a Siberian husky which was a kind of a dog and I was shocked. I thought about the dogs here in India and they look nothing like this animal. How could they both be dogs? They were so different. Can you spot the differences between these two dogs? Yes, the husky is definitely furrier. It is also lighter in color than the local dog. But why are they so different? Hmm, let's think for a while. If I had a twin in Alaska, would they look different? Yeah, of course they would. They'd be wearing a lot of warm clothes to keep themselves warm. But since it's hotter here in India, I'd be wearing light cotton clothes to keep cool. So the environment where we live changes our appearance. Isn't that why the husky was furrier than the local dog? You're absolutely right. Its thick fur helps it to survive the cold weather of Alaska. But since the local dog lives in warmer climates, it has less fur to keep cool. When living things change to survive better in their environment, we call it adaptation. Dogs and people aren't the only ones who adapt to the environment. Many living things do too. Can you think of any? Just take a look at the polar bear for instance. It's got so many cool features to help it live in freezing places like the polar regions. Can you find the way it has adapted? What's the most obvious thing? It's white. <laughs> Why do you think it's white? Yes, because that helps it blend into the snowy background and hide from its prey. What else? Yes, it's furry. In fact, although you can't see it, the polar bear actually has two thick layers of fur. It also has a layer of fat under its skin. Now these help keep it warm. Can you think of anything else? Aha, it's paws. Have you ever tried walking through soft snow? Your feet would just sink into the snow and you'd be stuck. But a polar bear's paws are large and wide, so it doesn't sink into the snow. So in cold places, the animals adapt or change to help them survive the harsh cold weather. So does that mean animal in warm places like a tropical rainforest don't need to adapt? Absolutely not. Even they need to adapt to live in these warm places and because animals love places like tropical rainforests, it can get really crowded. That means they need to fight to get to their food first. And how do you think they do that? Yes, by adapting. Just look at the red-eyed frog. It has evolved to have sticky pads on its feet so that it can climb trees. Just imagine, a tree climbing frog. Adaptation sure is cool, isn't it? But that's not all. Birds do something even cooler. To avoid the cool winters, they can fly thousands and thousands of miles to get to warm places like India. This is called migration. So every year, they get to go on winter vacations. <sighs> Wish I were a bird that migrated. If you could migrate to a place, where would you go? <laughs>